The big release today is Llama 3.1, and we're releasing three models. Um, the first time we're releasing a 405 billion parameter model, by far the most sophisticated open source model that, that I think anyone has, has put out. I think that there are all these awesome things that AI is going to bring um, in terms of productivity gains. You can start using Llama 3.1 405 billion parameters right away. In fact, you can try it out in the US on WhatsApp. 14,000 H1 GPUs. This is insane. <laughs> What's up my gorgeous friends on the internet? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Meta and they just dropped a bomb. <laughs> I mean literally not a real bomb but Meta just dropped Llama 3.1, um, 405 billion parameters and if you look at this, this was posted today, um, 23rd of July. Now. It's really amazing to see what Mark is it's like really doing here. And he really does believe that, you know, um, AI is meant to be open source. You know, AI is the, is the path forward, like open source is the path forward and all of that stuff. But like, hey, who am I to know? Um, Mark is doing an amazing job at doing this. He has dropped a couple of models, which are really, really amazing, to be honest. Now. It says here, Meta is committed to openly um, accessible AI, and we can read here about uh, Mark Zuckerberg's later detailed why open source um, open source is good for developers, good for Meta, and good for the world. Honestly, I don't I don't actually see the benefits of Meta actually making their AI open source. I mean, I do understand the fact that um, there are a couple of Again, I'm not. I, I'm not sure. I mean, if, if if I make any mistake in this, please, you guys, let me know in the comment section below. But I do believe that um, there are some limitations with the open source license which Meta is putting forward, and I don't know to what extent it's limited. But it's just it's just really amazing that they're at least making open source. And I believe Meta has um, Meta AI, which you know you can have access to it, and I believe they're trying to make it some sort of like. They're trying to make it like, you know, chat GPT or cloud from Entropic or something like that. So I think it's really amazing. So the idea is um, bringing open intelligence to all our latest models, expand context length of 128K at support across eight languages and includes Llama 3.1405 billion parameters. The first frontier level open source AI model. And this is really amazing. Um, what Mark is essentially doing here is really, really great work. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting this, honestly. So Meta has always been big on open source AI and Llama 3.1 continues that tradition. The big star here is Llama 3.1, um, 405 billion parameters model. And it's their frontier level model, open source AI model meaning it's packed with flexibility, control, and state-of-the-art features that can rival the best closed source models out there. One of the coolest things about Llama 3.1 is its extent, it's like its extended context length. We're talking about 128,000 context length, which means it can handle much larger inputs than before. Plus, it supports eight languages, making it a truly global model. This model is set to open up amazing possibilities like synthetic data generation and model distillation, allowing the AI community to explore new horizons. Meta isn't stopping at just the models. Actually, it's crazy. They are providing a bunch of tools and components to help developers create custom agents and behaviors. This includes new security and safety tools like Llama Guard 3 and Prompt Guard to ensure responsible AI use. Actually, the ecosystem around Llama 3.1 is also impressive, I believe so. With over 25 partners like um, Amazon, Nvidia, and we're talking about Databricks, Dell, Azure, and Google Cloud. You can start using Llama 3.1 
405 billion parameters right away. In fact, you can try it out in the US on WhatsApp or at meta.ai by asking it challenging math or coding questions. Meta has tested the um, LAMA 3.1 um, model extensively on over 150 benchmarks and data set across various languages and the results are fascinating actually. It covers on part with leading models like ChatGPT4, Claude 3.5 Sonnet and it shows just how powerful and versatile LAMA 3.1 is. Training the massive 405 billion model was a huge challenge involving over 14,000 H1 GPUs. This is insane. The effort paid off eventually as the models not only outperforms smaller models, but also sets a new standard for open source AI. This is really incredible. Llama 3.1 is great at instruction and chat fine tuning, making it the perfect option for applications like long text summarization, multilingual conversation, you know, things like agents and coding assistant, you know, coding assistant kind of things. And Meta envisioned Llama models as part of a broader system. This is actually interesting because we didn't see this in previous, you know, in previous um, um, publications of um, Llama by um, Meta. And it includes various components and tools making building custom AI solutions easier. So I, I believe they're trying to go for something like what, um, what OpenAI has done. I believe they're trying to do something like, you know, um, GPTs and probably we we're going to see things like the store, like GPT store. I mean, not GPT store, but maybe like Llama store later down the line. One of the best things about Llama 3.1 is it's open source and developers can download the model weights, customize them and train on new data set. This openness drives innovation, allowing the broader community to fully realize the potential of generative AI. This is really amazing, honestly. Using the 405 billion parameters can be challenging due to its power requirements. It's really, really huge, guys. Like, you know, if you remember from our previous videos where we're working on running Llama um, 3, the new Llama 3 that came out, um, that was Llama 3, that was 8 billion parameters. We're running it on locally on Apple Silicon um, on our computer. It was, it was doing okay, but I kind of noticed that Llama 2, 13 billion parameters is kind of kind of a little bit slow um, running locally on the 16 gigabytes of, you know, um, RAM on Apple Silicon computer, um, M1 chip. So using the model is very, very challenging. And this is mostly because of the, the requirements. But I believe Meta has partnered with key, um, key communities like VLLM, Tensor, RT, and PyTorch to ensure support from day one. This is really amazing. And this makes it easier for developers to deploy and fine tune the, uh, the models, you know. So I believe it's, it's, it's really amazing to have stuff like that coming up. And with Llama 3.1, Meta is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with open source AI. The community has already built amazing things with previous Llama models. And I can't wait to see what they will, you know, do with this latest release. This is really amazing. The future of AI looks brighter than ever. Thanks to Llama 3.1. This is really, really cool. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video update and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And a big thank you to our Patreon subscribers, Patreon supporters for your support. Until next time guys.